Welcome back, 7.30 now. It is Valentine's Day, and to celebrate, we're going to talk about hormones. We got Dr. Stephanie Gray here, our Ask a Nurse Practitioner regular. And this week's question came in from a viewer, and it was, how can we get the zest or spark back into our relationship? So really good timing for yep. Valentine's Day. And hormones are a lot of that we were talking yep. about. So what are hormones to start off with? Yeah, so it can be kind of complicated, but the way we like to describe it is hormones are chemical messengers made by our, by our endocrine glands that control certain actions of cells and organs. So they send that messenger by binding to a receptor, or we tell patients, uh, they kind of work, they send that message by um, like a key fitting into a keyhole or a mm -hmm. key fitting into a lock in our body. So it's kind of like, is that why we feel love or are those just points about how we react and feel with it? Well, different hormones help us feel different ways. Okay. So I would say, you know, the primary hormone found in women is estrogen although progesterone is very important too. Mm -hmm. And women still have testosterone. <laughs> and the primary hormone found in men is testosterone, although men have estrogen too. Okay. So many men are surprised uh, when they come to my office thinking they have low testosterone and we check their hormone levels comprehensively. Sometimes they're surprised to find out they have high estrogen. So if men have a big beer belly, they have more fat cells that mm -hmm. secrete an enzyme called aromatase. And that arom aromatase enzyme turns their testosterone into estrogen. Huh. So a great way um, to help men boost their testosterone and reduce estrogen is actually to lose weight. To lose weight, okay. Mm -hmm. So what do those those hormones do for men and women? Yeah, so estrogen is uh, responsible for helping with hot flashes, night sweats, vaginal dryness, bone density, memory and cognition. Uh, progesterone is my favorite hormone. It's the most <laughs> soothing, calming hormone. Great okay. for PMS, sleep and anxiety. And testosterone helps with mood, motivation, drive, you know, libido, and maintaining muscle mass and energy. So how would someone come to find out yeah. that their hormone levels are off? Well, firstly, ask yourself if you identify with any of those symptoms okay, I mentioned. You know, you a lot of patients just know, I'm a hormone mess. I know something's wrong mm -hmm. with my hormones. But secondly, have your hormone levels tested. You know, if you have a problem with your heart, you're going to go see a cardiologist for a full heart workup. Mm -hmm. If you think you have a problem with your hormones, seek out a hormone specialist who can test your hormone levels to figure out if you are low. Have you had a patient in your practice that came in with a, a hormone level that was off and then you corrected it? Like, what was the difference that you've seen? Yeah, so we see all kinds of patients. And like I said, some patients uh, come to my office saying, I'm a hormone mess, and my the, the patient's husband says, I want my wife back, you know, right. please help me. Uh, so they may have already seen their primary care provider who maybe recommended an antidepressant. You know, the, mm -hmm. that provider didn't necessarily know what to do for that patient, and the patient's disappointed because they don't necessarily feel that depressed. They know something's wrong with their hormones. So mm -hmm. we do, when we when we balance patients' hormone levels, first we test them. We, our motto is we don't guess, we test. When we test the levels to figure out, figure out an imbalance exists and we correct that imbalance patients do have improved overall zest you no know, vitality mm -hmm. for, for life. those relationships and that okay. husband says thank you for giving me my wife back uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, horm so. a hormonal wife is not necessarily yeah. the best thing you want to have around, nor a hormonal husband, I would right. guess. No, Probably it's... just the same. Yeah. So do you have any other quick advice on how to for them to check out these these hormone levels with you? Well, I would say that you know hormone levels do naturally decline as we age. Mm -hmm. um, if you've had a hysterectomy, you know, having a surgery also is a reason why you might have low hormone levels. And if you're very stressed, you know, stress is our biggest hormone hijacker. It'll rob mm -hmm. us of the calming progesterone that keeps us not being so irritable. Okay. Uh, so manage your stress. That's one thing you can do. Manage your stress, lose, lose weight, weight. Yep. lose weight, yep. and maybe check them out. If you want to learn more about hormones, you guys are having an integrative health and hormone clinic. It's going to be next Wednesday, February 22nd at 5, and it's a free event if they want to check it out. Yes, yeah. yeah. Bring your spouse. Come join us here at an hour-long talk about hormones and how they can help you. Because You can check that out on our website. We'll have the information on there at fox28iowa.com. Thank you, yeah. Dr. Gray, yeah. for coming in and answering that question for us. If you have any questions for her, email them to us, or you can Facebook them to us and we will put them on the list to ask Dr. Gray with our Ask a Nurse Practitioner segment. It is now 734 on this Valentine's Day.